Hey guys, so today we're making some beef pot roast in the crock pot. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I have two big pieces of beef chuck roast that I got from my local Sam's Club. So I'm just going to season it with some all-purpose seasoning, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. Now I don't care what seasonings you use, just make sure your food is not bland. We don't want no bland food y'all, okay? And it might look like I'm putting a lot of seasoning on there, but these are some big pieces of meat y'all. So you want to make sure you season it very well. So I'm just going to flip the meat over and put the exact same seasonings on the other side because you need to make sure you season every part of this meat, even the sides, y'all. I ain't playing. <laughs> so all the seasoning that you see that's in the pan, I'm just going to make sure that I get some of that on the sides um, because this is a lot of meat and I want my food to taste good to me, okay? And so I am going to sear uh, the meat before I put it in the crock pot. You don't have to. But I think this helps to seal in some of that flavor. Um, if you want to, you can coat it with a little bit of flour um, because that'll help with your gravy in the end. Um, but I didn't do that. Uh, so I'm just going to brown both sides. And no, it's not going to be done on the stove, y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to brown the sides and then I'm going to put it in my crock pot. And so one thing I do wish I had done differently, so I couldn't decide whether or not I was going to cook both of the uh, pieces of meat. And I should have just cooked one because it was just too much meat to be putting in my crock pot. Um, but anyway, right here, I just added some butter to my pan and then I'm adding in some onions. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Again, you could have put the flour on the meat itself. Um, but I'm going to make like a little gravy to put in the crock pot. And so I just have my onions and then I added in some flour and butter. And then you want to make sure you cook that for a few minutes to get the raw flour taste out. And then I am adding in um, some beef broth. Um, I just added uh, the beef base with some water and, and made beef broth. But you're going to uh, mix that up and... Um, this is going to be our gravy for our pot roast. Um, and so I just let that simmer for a little bit to let it thicken up a bit. And then I'm literally going to dump all of this into my crock pot. This is super simple, y'all. And so I have some celery, some baby carrots. I'm going to add in some russet potatoes. Um, and so I am putting my vegetables on the bottom so that it can soak up all that nice flavor. And so in the past, I did put like the potatoes on the top but that didn't work out very well for me because I felt like the potatoes didn't cook well enough and so I put my veggies on the bottom and then I'm going to add in my meat and again I wish I had only cooked one of these because <laughs> both of these really did not need to go in this crock pot y'all I was tripping <laughs> so it made it take longer for it to cook so both of these pieces of meat together cooked in the crock pot for about 12 hours um, but if you're cooking just one, I imagine it could be done in about 8 to 10 hours on slow. Um, so just keep that in mind. The more stuff you have in here, the longer it's going to take. And so again, you don't have to use both pieces of meat like I did. And so I put my gravy on top and then I am just putting the lid on it. And I'm going to let this baby go. Um, I cooked it on low. Um, and this is the finished product, you guys. I just garnished it with some parsley flakes. And this is a nice fall dish, a nice comfort dish. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. You can make some mashed potatoes on the side if you would like to. Um, but I'm okay with just the potatoes that I put in the crock pot. And so please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.